Hello again, I am Blunty at PAX 2018. If you know me, you know I like a couple of things. Among them are hoodies and lights where there shouldn't be lights. You've seen my PC, right? Lots of lights on that thing. And that's why I love this hoodie that Anyway got me hooked up with. They've got eel wire through the whole thing. I love it. One of my favorite things at PAX, as a matter of fact. It's just ridiculous. It's pointless. It's stupid. And that's why I love it. Now I'm going to take you around the rest of the show and show you some other, not necessarily ridiculous super things, but other things that I love. The best of PAX 2018, as I see it. Little bits here and there. Stuff that caught my eye. Stuff that went, you know what, I might need to get one of those. Or, you know what, I need one of those. Or sometimes just, you know what, I need one of those. I don't have any use for it. I can't really justify it, but I want it. So here we go. First things first, and I'm not just saying this, because it's an Intel sponsored video, but this rig right here, and I'll talk more about custom and modded PCs in their own separate video so we can really take a good look. But this rig, this is what I used to Twitch stream from on the Friday of PAX, live from the show floor. It's a beast. Packing one of those Core i7 8086K anniversary edition CPUs and an Asus ROG RTX 2080, Inside Core says new 280X RGB case, which is a buffed up descendant of one of my favorite Corsair cases, the Air 240. On the subject of Ace's ROG gear, or ROG, I suppose. Do you call it ROG or ROG? I mean, it stands for Republic of Gamers. You just go ROG. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? ROG, ROG. Anyway, this gloriously absurd triple panel array. Want it, can't afford it, don't have the space for it, it's obscene, but I want it. The best gimmick at any booth has to have been the Hitman 2 one. They had a duck-based target, sort of carnival-style game, which, oddly enough, does make perfect sense in a game about being a professional assassin, which you'd think it'd be all serious face and stuff, but, yeah, not really. Also, you could skip the line weight by having your head shaved. They had a full-on pro barbershop set up for it. Genius. 100% respect for the commitment to the bit for the Hitman 2 booth. Finally getting my eyes on with the Founders Edition 2080 Ti. My attempts to leave with one were foiled by my tolerantly smiling NVIDIA friends, but yeah, IRL, the thing looks super sleek. As always, a trip down memory lane was very, very nice indeed. I started gaming three and a half decades ago or so on an Atari 2600 and I've not stopped gaming since. Also, I am not as good at pinball as I used to be, it seems. Seeing the Intel Hades Canyon nooks everywhere I looked, great. I've got one of these myself, and the little bastard is totally baller. So I kind of like plenty of other people getting a peek at its bewildering power versus size combo. And again, I'm not saying this just because it's an Intel sponsored vid, but I genuinely like this little thing. It's amazing. This RGB low profile chiclet style gaming keyboard from Cougar. I went to buy one at the end of the show, in fact, but they were sold out. I was too slow. I do wish it came in 10 keyless, though. This dancing baby who transfixed Ubisoft's booth dancers and everyone in the crowd, as a matter of fact. This Corsair mouse. Now, given Fallout 76 is more complex than average control schemes, I have been on the lookout for a mouse with a few more physical controls on it. I currently use one with just, you know, a couple of thumb buttons. But I don't want one with as many buttons as those MMO-style masks with a full-on sort of number pad on them, which my hand and my big thumb are just not suitable for. I feel very clumsy on those things. But this one felt really nice in hand. It's also one of their new ones that's not only wireless, but can charge wirelessly. So yeah, ask my Corsair dude to hook me up with one of these. We'll see. This low-profile RGB gaming keyboard from Cooler Master. Sensing a pattern yet? I like low-profile keyboards. This one had mechanical cherry switches though, and that's nice too. This shirt design, which I do now in fact own in t-shirt form. I love puns, I love wordplay, and I love anime tropes. And this, oh, this is glorious. These tabletop gaming miniature models, impressive on their own, but they're in fact 3D printed. I have no idea why this combination of nerdery never occurred to me before, but man, what a natural fit. Awesome stuff. This limited edition PC case from NZXT, it's 500 Aussie dollars worth of custom limited edition case, so there's pretty much no way I'll be buying one out of my own pocket, but the want factor is very, very, very high indeed especially considering how much I've been enjoying Fallout 76. This Quake custom mod PC, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, I guess. I mean, you know, for a weekend's work. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. It's absurd. This VR flight sim motion simulator thing at the HP Omen booth. It has fans on the front to simulate the wind in your face. Uh, these, of course, just, you know, these. 
done with these all around my house. I've had a garden, I'd use them as garden gnomes. And lastly, this mechanically based Pong game. Somehow wonderfully combining mechanical engineering, video game history, modern retro kitsch, and even the days of cocktail cabinet arcade gaming. And in one elegant monochromatic chunk, it says so many glorious things about gaming and gamers and gaming history and geek passion. It is just truly a beautiful thing. So there you go, what was your, f I'm going to stop my, I'm going to stop my jacket from blinking, it's starting to even distract me, there we go, we'll put a steady on. What was your favourite uh, uh, thing that I showed you, or if you did happen to be here at PAX, what did you spot that I happened to miss out on in this video? Maybe I didn't see it, maybe I didn't think it was worthy, but let me know what you thought. Think, fuck, think, th let me know what you think is what I'm getting out there. It's coming to the end of the, day of the third day of PAX, my brain's starting to shut down sequentially, the language centre is starting to go. But I'm having fun. Thank you, Intel, again, by the way, because it has been an absolute blast here at PAX this year.